The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. From Paul, by the will of God, an apostle of Christ Jesus, and from our brother Timothy, to God's holy people in Colossae, our faithful brothers in Christ. Grace and peace to you from God our Father. We give thanks for you to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, continually in our prayers. Ever since we heard about your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you show toward all God's holy people because of the hope which is stored up for you in heaven. News of this hope reached you not long ago through the word of truth, the gospel that came to you in the same way as it is bearing fruit and growing throughout the world. It has had the same effect among you ever since you heard about the grace of God and recognized it for what it truly is. This you learned from Epaphras, our very dear fellow worker, and a trustworthy deputy for us as Christ's servant. And it was he who also told us all about your love in the Spirit. And our response comes from Psalm 52. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done, Lord, and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust in the mercy of God forever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was in the grip of a high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Standing over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to serve them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils, too, came out of many people, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he warned them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued his proclamation in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord.